In this video today, I'm going to give you one single nifty trick that you can use to deal with drama queens. I'm Peter Lean from Explosive Minds and I work with people, extraordinary people just like you, to become that person that everybody else is jealous of. How, how cool is my job? Now, our thought process is pretty much a conversation with ourselves the whole day, all day long. And the things that you tell yourself every single moment of the day will impact how you perceive your environment and how you will perceive the world out there. And then the reverse is also true. How you perceive the world out there will now also impact the words you start to use in conversations. Now, when people use words that completely disallow any altern other alternatives that are out there, we talk about and call that a universal quantifier in NLP. All that is, is it's an absolute generalization that people use to indicate that something is tr always true. That's the only truth that's out there, nothing else, there's no exceptions. Now, people use these words when they want to characterize something, that something is true for everything and anyone in their experience and maybe even in their lives. And that's where drama queens come in because they tend to think like that their entire life, every single day, every single situation is just a generalization that what is happening at that moment is true for, for all experiences in their life. How do you spot them? Very easy. They use words like always, um, everybody, nobody, all, never, none. So when people speak, you will hear things like, I will never get this right. I, I hear a lot of my clients, although none of them are drama queens, but I hear a lot of my clients that will say, it's always a mess. My life is always a mess. When I start something, it never works. No one is looking at my videos. No one is buying my stuff for my business. No one is seeing me. I want to be this great athlete, but no one is seeing me. And how to deal with, with when people use these phrases, especially when you have a friend that's a drama queen, how, how you deal with them is the only thing you do is you turn that word that they used into a question. And what that does is it actually forces them to, to challenge their mindset around that statement that they've made. So you repeat back that word. So when they say something like, this will never work out for me, you ask never. And what you want to do is you want to continue to challenge them and continue to break it down and ask that question until they back down and they start to give you some specifics around what it is that they mean because that's the whole point of these questions that you want to ask them is that they can um, look inside to start to understand themselves better as to why do they speak like that and you can practice this on yourself as well when you are in a situation where you where you think in that moment gosh you're frustrated and you think this will never work and you just like have to recognize that and stop and say Will this really never work? And that gives you a moment to actually think about all of the other possibilities that there might be out there. Now, examples are when you when you speak with drama queens and you have a friend that, that speak in that language all the time, you might hear things like, if you take this supplement, you know, you know all the um, people that suddenly became medical experts in the past few months? Um, now you will get people, everybody is now a political expert. <laughs> so so um, you get those friends that are like, um, they, they've they had one baby and now they're like a maternity expert. So, or they started to go to the gym and they ride on the stationary bike and now they're suddenly a training expert. They will use statements like, if you take the supplement, you will never get sick. And then, you can ask them, never? And they might answer and say, well, yeah, you will never get sick. Will you really never get sick? Well, maybe 
you might get sick if you don't look on. So now they start to give you details of what it is that they are exactly trying to say. Things like, nobody likes me. I mean, how many of us have heard this, this from our friends? Nobody likes me. Nobody wants to invite me to their dinner party or nobody wants to invite me to their birthday party. Nobody? Well, yeah, I've never been invited in the past six months to anybody's birthday. Anybody? Nobody's invited you to anything? And now you start to force them to, to, to think about what it is that they are really saying. So you are challenging that statement, that generalization that they are making. Hope that was useful. I will see you in the next video. But before you go, I want to remind you about an upcoming workshop that we have in September. It's a free online workshop. We will have it every Thursday for the first three weeks of September, where I will teach you techniques that was used, the same types of techniques still being used today that the USSR and East, East Germany used in the 90. 88 Olympics and they just absolutely obliterated that Olympic Games um, in that year. So even though it's focused on sports individuals, if you do have people that um, are looking to up their performance in any area of their life, they will be perfect candidates to come and listen to this workshop or come and sit in in this workshop. And you might say, gosh, why are you doing it for free? Because a lot of people need to charge the batteries after everything that's been happening over the past few months. I want to give people an opportunity. I want to give people the techniques and the tools they need to recharge their batteries so that we can all finish this year strong. So there will be a link in the description. Click on it. Go and have a look, especially if you have employees, maybe even that might benefit from something like this send it on to them it's completely free of charge if they can register if they're unable to attend at that particular time um it's a south african standard time then they will still have access to the recordings i'll see you guys in the next video bye